This Tech Tip video will look at how to use the Pollination plugin to easily transfer 3D model geometry from Rhino into the IES VE. We start by typing Pollination in the command bar within Rhino to display the Pollination plugin. We can use this to transfer the geometry from an existing model or to create new geometry from scratch. First, we'll consider an example where we do not have existing geometry. We will create this using the pollination commands. The first command we'll use is Add Rooms, where we will select the Draw a Room option. Before we add the room, we can choose from different drawing settings. Using the three point option with two corner rather than free form, we need to input some values. Elevation refers to the floor height at which our room will be placed. We'll leave this at zero to place our room on the ground floor. Height sets the height of the room. We enter 900 centimeters to create a room that is 9 meters high. We'll then create a second room with a smaller height of 300 centimeters or 3 meters. Now we have two rooms in our Rhino model. We also need to add windows, so we use Draw Apertures, select the surface we want to place our window on, and click Enter. Before drawing, we should enter our sill height and window height. We select Draw a Door to add a door to our model in a similar way. Once again, we first select the surface we want to place the door on before entering the required heights and drawing the door onto the surface. Now we can see the window and door we have added. Finally, if we want to add shading to our windows, we select Add Aperture Shade, select our window and enter our desired settings. At this point, we can use the Color by Face Type command to visually check the different object types within our model. With our model complete, we want to export this geometry into the VE. So now we go to File, Save As, and select the IESVE Geometry.gem file type. With the file saved, we can open the VE, select New Project, and Create from BIM file, and then choose whichever geometry import option suits our project. We click on Create Project, and the imported file will be used to create a new VE project. This opens a preview window where we can visually check the accuracy of our geometry import and the settings used to import model data if desired. When we click on OK, the import is completed. We can now review the geometry using Model Viewer or continue to work on the project within the VE. For our next example, we have a Rhino project with existing geometry which we wish to export to use in the VE. We start by once again selecting the Add Rooms command, but this time we will choose Select Geometries. We drag our cursor to highlight our full model, rather than just a part of it, and click Enter. Pollination will analyze our selection and identify any fully closed volumes and rooms. These will then be listed within the Pollination plugin. To add windows and doors, we once again use Add Apertures and choose Select Geometries, and then we select all the spaces in our model. Any translucent glass openings will be identified as windows, whereas opaque openings on the surfaces will be identified as doors. We can see that our openings have been identified and added to the relevant face of each room within the model list. We can also use the Color by Face Type tool for a quick visual inspection. Lastly, we will identify and add any shading. We use the Add Shades tool and select Building Shade. Then, select any geometry we want to import into the VE as Local Shade. Now. We repeat the same export import procedure as before. We first save the file as an IES VE gem file type, and then start a new VE project using the option to create from BIM file. Once the project opens in the VE, we can again use Model Viewer 
to see that our geometry has been successfully imported. We would recommend using the Model at drop-down menu to run a model report as an additional quality check on any geometry that is imported. Thank you for watching this video on how to quickly use the pollination tool to export geometry from Rhino and then import this gem file into the VE. For further hints and tips on the VE, please check out our other Tech Tips videos.